What is it that keeps divers swimming down to watery depths time and time again? Progressing another hundred feet into the cave, something starts to feel different. Apparently, it's the mysteries that the sea continues to give up, the treasures found in watery graves. <laughs> and the bizarre circumstances under which many things are discovered. From the sea creatures held in a jail cell on the ocean floor, to the massive underwater artifact, here are 15 strangest things found by deep sea divers. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. That being said, let's begin. Number 15. Animals Chained Up A group of divers were heartbroken upon making a shocking discovery last March when the group headed out to explore the waters of Koyoka, Indonesia. The waters surrounding Koyoka are beautiful and perfect for tourists, the ideal place to go for a swim as the water is crystal clear and contains various types of sea life. On top of that, the weather is almost always impeccable. What the divers found there, however, was anything but impeccable. Instead, a nightmare in which they couldn't awaken. At the very bottom of the ocean were an assortment of cages. Inside these cages were two dugongs, a mother and a baby. The conditions of these cages were terrible, and the pair didn't look comfortable with the mother's tail being completely chained up so she couldn't move at all. Dugongs are close relatives to manatees and are currently on the verge of extinction. So when the divers found out that a fisherman was holding them captive for business purposes, they knew there wasn't a moment to lose. As it turns out, the fisherman was using the dugongs to lure in tourists and, in exchange for money, would allow them to get a closer look and interact with them. The divers asked him to release the poor things. He initially refused, but then agreed to the next day. The divers found this suspicious, and rightly so. They stayed there to document the situation and posted images all over social media in response. This gained attention online, and the very next day, wildlife authorities arrived to find them still stuck in their cages. The fisherman had lied. No surprises there. The authorities forced him to release them. Let's hope they didn't take long to recover from their ordeal. Number 14. The Pyramid of Yanaguni the Yanaguni Monument is a rather intriguing and large rock formation found underwater just off the coast of Yanaguni, Japan. There has been plenty of arguments in the past about just how natural the site is and whether it's been modified throughout history. Many believe that it is a man-made structure, while others have considered the extraterrestrial to be responsible. The structure is said to be part of an ancient civilization that lived on Earth well over a millennia before us. Many agree that it seems to take the shape of an ancient landing platform. The the monument contains pretty fine sand and mudstones, which it is argued were deposited around 20 million years prior. Most of the formations are connected to the underlying rock mass, while the main feature of the monument is a rectangular shaped formation that measures about 150 by 40 meters and about 27 meters tall, and its top is about 5 meters below sea level. Number 13. The Lion City the Lion City, otherwise known as Xicheng, is an ancient city that, over time, became submerged. It now lies at the foot of Wuxi Mountain, about 25 to 40 meters beneath the spectacular Chandao Lake in China. In 2014, there was renewed interest in the sunken city from officials, following the strange discovery that the city that spent over 50 years underwater is somehow still completely intact. The structure was open to tourists as a diving attraction and a convenient underwater museum in 2017. Full to the brim with unique architecture and carvings that date back almost 1400 years, it is a spectacular sight. This ancient city appears to have been built sometime during the Eastern Han Dynasty, roughly around 25 to 200 AD, and was first set up as a county around 208 AD. It was also once the center of politics and economics in the eastern province of Xiejiang. In 1959, the Chinese government made the rather questionable decision to construct a hydroelectric power station. This power station included the construction of a man-made lake that fully submerged Xicheng under 40 meters of water. A sad day for history, but a step forward for power generation. Number 12. Deep in the Baltic Sea 
The ocean is home to many amazing and bizarre creatures, and over the years, researchers have made some truly insane discoveries down in the depths. A vast area, it is a virtual impossibility that man will ever discover all that it holds in any given lifetime. However, professional diver Stefan Hogerborn is forever hopeful of achieving such a feat. The Ocean X team member was a part of a massive discovery in 2011, now labeled the Baltic Sea Anomaly. The team, led by Captain Peter Lindbergh and co-researcher Dennis Asberg, discovered a strange object that had sunk to the bottom of the ocean. After much research, the object still hasn't been officially identified, with many comparing its appearance to the legendary Millennium Falcon spacecraft from the Star Wars franchise. This would be normal for most marine biologists and deep-sea explorers. However, Ocean X reported that when they came within the vicinity of the object, they experienced many electric malfunctions with their equipment. It was only when they got 200 meters away that things begin to stabilize. They since decided that the object was some kind of alien UFO or spacecraft that had miraculously sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Speculation has been rampant since its discovery, with many believing it to have alien-related origins, while others think it could be a sunken ship belonging to the Russians. The mysterious, spherical object has set the world alight as millions clamber for answers to its origins and how it came to be there. Number 11. Russian Empire Submarine SOM A very lengthy search and salvage project was recently completed after 20 years of hard work. Ocean X's team worked together with iExplorer in order to construct a special salvage vessel that they named Deep Sea Worker. This vessel recently arrived in Sweden with a cargo load of cognac and liquor that is said to age back over a century. These liquors were possibly the final shipment of liquors for Tsar Nicholas II's Russia. The Deep Sea Worker's purpose was to salvage bottles at a reasonable depth between Sweden and Finland's waters. The importance of this find should not be overlooked. Not only were the cognac and liquors considered rare, but they also formed part of an important piece of Imperial Russian history. Bacardi, the owner of the Benedictine brand, were understandably excited to hear of the findings, as the brand stretches back well over 500 years when it was first created by French monks. Being left to ferment for that many years, it's likely to be some very strong liquor. Number 10. Sunken Pirate City Port Royal Jamaica was everything you'd expect from 17th century pirate life. The city was full of all sorts of individuals displaying questionable behavior. Many were responsible for vigorous looting, treasure hunting, alcohol consumption, and gambling. So it's no surprise that Port Royal was often described as the wickedest city on earth. However, the wealthiest port in the West Indies met its bitter end on the 7th of June 1692 following a heavy earthquake that resulted in almost the entire city sinking into the sea. Over 300 years on, Port Royal has become one of the biggest and most sought after archaeological sites in the Caribbean. Unfortunately, very little of the city was recovered and it wasn't exactly mapped out either. At least, that's what we thought. A project from the University of Nottingham has utilized optical mapping and robotic technology to scan the lost city in high resolution. It's hoped that the results of this will help support the hopes of Jamaica's application to obtain world heritage status for the site. The aftermath of the earthquake and the sinking left over 1,600 people dead and a city that only existed for 37 years ruined and submerged. The archaeological site holds plenty of significance today. When the earthquake struck, it preserved many aspects of the daily existence in the city at that exact moment in time. The city now lies sealed under the silt in Kingston Harbor. Number 9. The Titanic the Titanic sinking is arguably one of history's most iconic disasters. This past year, some new footage emerged from the site of the shipwreck that hit an iceberg and sank in 1912. This footage is the first that we've seen in 14 years, and it's very eerie in comparison to what's been seen prior. The ship looks rather spooky now and is in the worst shape ever, as it appears to be dissolving from the effects of salt water, strong currents, and bacteria. An expedition that involved five dives over a course of eight days was undertaken by world-renowned ocean explorer Victor Vescovo and his team. They dropped 12,000 feet into the very cold Atlantic Ocean waters using a specially designed submersible to handle the environment and pressures of the sea level. The aim was to capture some new footage for a new National Geographic documentary. This wasn't the first time the team had happened upon the wreckage. However, this time they were shocked to see just how much the ship had decayed over the last decade. Many of the iconic components of the ship, such as the bow from the I'm the King of the World scene from the 1997 film, were now completely unrecognized 
unrecognizable and slowly fading away at the bottom of the ocean. The captain's bathtub had also completely disappeared under a collapsed deck. Researchers believe that over the next few decades, the ship will completely deteriorate and will be gone forever. This is a sad truth, but unfortunately, it is inevitable. As a sign of respect to those that perished during this great tragedy, the crew laid a wreath down by the wreckage and held a short ceremony to honor those that were lost over a century ago. Number 8. Underwater Circles Many of you will have heard of the mysterious crop circles that conspiracy theorists have a field day with. But have you ever heard of underwater circles? These circles have been called the ocean's crop circles and are suggested to be patterned and over 7 feet in diameter. They were first seen in 1995 in Japan by local divers who deemed them to be much like an enigma. For the next 16 years, researchers, divers, and other water experts scratched their heads wondering at the origins of these mysterious circles. In 2011, the reason for their existence finally came to light when they discovered that pufferfish could create these elaborate designs to attract their female counterparts. Upon further inspection, the fish would spend a fair amount of time constructing their respective circles using their fins to dig around the sand. It's said that the quality of each circle determines the female's choice of mate, so it's no wonder the males spend so much time perfecting their individual mysterious-looking circles. Number 7. The Cancun Underwater Museum the Cancun Underwater Museum is easily the biggest of its kind on planet Earth. Originally known as Musa or Museo Subaquario de Arte, the museum welcomes a healthy number of tourists every year, with official numbers rising above 700,000 in total. The Cancun Underwater Museum holds an interesting blend of statues ranging from themes such as capital greed to simplistic holistic living of the fishermen community. The place is well hidden as it's tucked neatly between the islands of Cancun and Isla Mujeres, which is in and around the coast of Mexico. This museum has over 500 life-sized and lifelike installations that are completely submerged by water. It enjoys world preservation status as it promotes marine diversity amongst its installations. This is the perfect spot for all ocean and museum enthusiasts. And who knows, it could be the site of your next vacation, offering the joy of swimming around one of the world's most beautiful and scenic artistic pieces and sculptures. What more could you ask for? If this isn't a true definition of art coming to life, then what is? Number 6. Underwater Structures of Zakynthos Divers and researchers were certain they had discovered a lost Greek city ruins, ruins that were a result of a perished city from tidal waves hitting the shores of the island of Zakynthos. However, new research has unraveled the true circumstances of these ruins. These findings were published in the Journal of Marine and Petroleum Geology and have pointed out that the site was the result of a natural geological phenomenon that took place around the Pliocene era some 5 million years ago. Discovered by snorkelers, various experts then carefully examined the site. Scientists used X-ray and microscope techniques to see if they could further unravel details of mineral content and texture of the underwater formation. The research team found that the donut-like, hard, solid masses were something of a subsurface fault that allowed gases to escape from its depths. The solid masses rarely form in seawater, but can be quite common in microbe-rich sediments. Exhumed by natural erosion, they were left exposed on the seabed. The research team was certain that such a phenomenon was extremely rare in such shallow waters and is unlikely to occur regularly, hence the interest. Number 5. Cleopatra's Lost City Cleopatra's ancient ruins are well and truly submerged at this point, having sunk into the sea well over a millennium ago. Like many ancient cities and ruins, historians and scientists are convinced that earthquakes and tidal waves had something to do with the eventual end to Cleopatra's city and iconic palace. The ruins can be found under the Mediterranean Sea, just off the shore of Alexandra, which is a large Egyptian city. Though there is little information on the lost city, there have been great leaps to revive and recover significant portions of it with excavations going underway in 1998. Many things were discovered during this process, such as shipwrecks, a statue of a goddess, and also a sphinx. There's plenty of ground to cover down there, so it wouldn't be surprising if there's still more to find two decades on from the initial excavations. Number 4. Dwarka 
There's always been an element of uncertainty when it comes to India's origins, and the same can be said for its many religious geographical locations. In fact, there are plenty of pilgrimage sites that hold heavy, holy, and mythological backgrounds. There are also many tales circulating about the location of India's greatest ancient sites, but there's still much to learn about one in particular, Dwarka. This ancient city dates all the way back to 3200 BC, making it older than the Harappan society. According to mythology, Dwarka was the city where the 8th avatar of Vishnu once resided. It is also the place that was considered the kingdom of Lord Krishna, who supposedly built the city. Contemporary historians and archaeologists simply ignore the theories of the city being completely submerged by a great wave, but it's certainly possible that the city was hit by something over 30,000 years ago. There was plenty of superstition that the ancient city was under some kind of curse, but whether that's factual or simply a myth is still yet to be confirmed by experts. Number 3. Bayi this Roman city has been compared to cities like Las Vegas. It was almost like a resort that catered to those who were wealthy among the Roman elite. The city was also famous for its hot springs due to it being located over volcanic vents. Unfortunately, Bayi didn't last as it was sacked and taken apart by Saracens during the 8th century. By 1500, the once beloved city was completely abandoned. Due to the volcanic vents, the water slowly rose around the city and soon enough, the once luxurious location was no more. Today, the ancient city can be visited by tourists, to an extent. It's located in one of only a few underwater archaeological parks. Tourists can see crumbled remains of structures and well-preserved statues through glass-bottom boats. For the very keen, you can scuba dive down and investigate for yourself what was once a great home to many. Number 2. Pavlo Petri Pavlo Petri is easily one of the oldest sunken cities in the Mediterranean, as it has sat in place since 3000 BC. Considering its age, it's crazy to think that it was only discovered in 1967. The ruins of the city include many roads, gardens, homes, temples, and even a cemetery. Many urban planners have since been astonished by the city and how it was laid out, some believing it to be better than modern building and city layouts. Around 2009, further studies took place on the city, and it was theorized that the city was completely submerged due to a series of earthquakes that sunk almost 9 hectares. Despite these earthquakes, however, experts feel as though many of the buildings are still very visible and recognizable. Today, the site is easily accessible for tourists, although experts aren't particularly thrilled by this as they would like to preserve the ancient city as much as possible due to its age and architecture. Can't say I blame them, really. Number 1. The Giant Pyroso after much research and investigation, it's obvious there's no other place on Earth that is home to more bizarre creatures than the ocean. Pyrosomes come under this category. These gelatinous, free-floating marine invertebrate animals occupy the upper layers of the ocean, and particularly so in warmer seas. These creatures are shaped like cylinders and are made up of colonies of thousands of individuals. These colonies differ in size. Some are less than one centimeter, while others can be several meters long. The individuals of each colony are called zooids, and they are only millimeters in size. They are embedded together to form the gelatinous tunic, making them somewhat whole as a result. Each zooid opens to the inside and the outside of the tube to filter the ocean water to the colony, whilst also extracting from microscopic plants that they feed on. The colony is rather bumpy from the outside, each bump representing each individual zooid inside. Pyrosomes are planktonic, like the evil little green chap who features in the cartoon SpongeBob SquarePants. Because they are planktonic, they don't necessarily control their movements. These movements are created by the currents, tides, and waves within the ocean. They are also brightly bioluminescent, which allows them to flash a glowing blue light visible for several meters. Over the years, many sailors have been treated to virtual light shows due to the glow that pyrosomes reflect. There wouldn't be many people that haven't heard the story of the Titanic and how it came to be resting on the deep, dark depths of the ocean floor, but that's just one piece of the history books. There are many other great mysteries that have been solved by divers over the years, and most are just as intriguing. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!